Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Greg McCloskey from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex Quick Look. I'm going to take a look at the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. Uh, it's uh, consolidating, uh, continuing the consolidating up and down trading range, but some key technical levels are in play, and the range is getting more narrow and narrow and narrow. It's at the, uh, leads to a potential break outside of that trading range. So let's get started. Looking at this uh, currency parent, going back, let's say to right here, uh, if we put a, a red box around the uh, low to highs of that uh, trading range, it uh, has a low of near 0 0.6523, a high near 0 0.6623, only about 100 pips. If we take a look at last week's trading, put a red back box around its trading range, the range gets even more narrow with the uh, low coming in at 0 0.6550 and the high near the 0 0.6623 level again. Uh, and that that represents about a 70 uh, pip trading range, 73 pip trading range. And if we look at this week's trading range, now it's we're only uh, two days into the new trading week, but uh, we only have a range of going down to around six of uh, five, uh, seven, four, up to 0 0.6623. That's only about what 50 pips of uh, trading here. So we're getting progressively more narrow trading ranges as we go along and uh, that uh, uh, signals a market that doesn't know which way it wants to go it's non-trending it's waiting for a break when the market non-trends there is a potential to trend or non-trends transition into trends so traders will be uh, preparing for a break so what would be a what would a break look like well if we take a look at the this chart and look at the, the different levels what is uh, clear uh, to me at least is at this uh, level right through here uh, def defined a swing level where the price uh, initially found sellers. Then we moved below and found resistance sellers again through here. Well, we, well, we moved above it and then moved higher and then came back down to it and fell below that level for finding sellers and creating another ceiling area near this level. And in trading this week, the price high came up toward that level and found moving sellers. Also, we have the 100 bar moving average on this four hour chart which is uh, uh, coming in near the uh, high of that swing area near the 0 0.6623 level. So this area between 0 0.6612 and 0 0.6623 is what needs to get uh, broken on the top side if the buyers are to take more control. If it does break above this level, uh, we should expect to see further upside momentum in this pair as uh, the uh, buyers turn to, uh, the seller, sellers turn to buyers uh, and force the price to the upside. That's on the upside uh, idea. Now on the downside, we have a couple things in play here, uh, including the low prices from this week, which uh, came in, in support near the 100 a day or 200 day moving average. That's a green line in this chart. As you can see on Monday's trade, the low price uh, found support buyers against that moved higher. And trade here today, the price is finding support buyers against that 200 day moving average. And uh, finding, you know, uh, buyers are, are sort of leaning against that level. Just below that level is a 50% retracement. That's of the move up from uh, this low right here going back to the month of October to the high price that we saw here in the month of December 50 percent comes in at 0 0.65699 so getting below the uh, uh, 200 day moving average 50 percent retracement should open the door for further selling now we did go below it in trading last week we went below it in this uh, week as well and we came down to other uh, swing levels which would be the next key targets to get to and through. That would give the sellers even more confidence to the downside. The lowest of those levels comes against this uh, swing area, which uh, is undeniable a, a key floor through here. Uh, it was a, a key ceiling right through here. We broke above it, then uh, broke above it again, and then came down and formed this floor right through here at 0 0.6523, just above that level between 0 0.6541 and 0 0.6540 is this other swing area through here where we had a number of different swing lows and swing highs through here. Most of the uh, swing lows came through here, 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 here. That failed break uh, uh, down here formed this uh, floor right here. So uh, the key, two key swing levels, 6641 to 50, and then the 0.6523 level. Uh, add on the uh, downside the 100-day moving average and all of these three level, uh, this level, the 100-day uh, moving average, the floor level all become key support supports to get to and through. Don't forget when we have to break through the fifty percent retracement level. So um, uh, I think I think that levels are uh, pretty well defined here in the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. It's just a matter of getting that shove, getting that push. We do have lots of earnings coming out, which uh, give, could get, lead to a risk on or risk off type of sentiment in the Aussie versus U.S. dollar. We also have the U.S. jobs report on Friday, which is going to be a key. Uh, mover for the U.S. dollar. So 
be aware, be prepared, but know which way the roadmap is going and follow that roadmap. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.